If you thought that a sparkling diamond on your finger was all that was needed to make you happy, think of what an entire planet of diamonds would do for you. You heard it right. Astronomers have discovered a planet bigger than Earth, which is covered with diamonds. Discovered by a U.S. Franco research team, the rocky planet it has a radius that is twice the size of Earth, orbiting around the sun like a star. The planet is said to be covered with graphite and diamonds rather than the usual water and granite. Now, this diamond-laden planet has a surface temperature of about an astounding 3,900 degrees Fahrenheit and is about 40 light years or 230 trillion miles away from Earth. Part of the team of discoverers is also Indian-born scientist Nico Madhusudan. The diamond planet, in fact, moves so fast that it makes one complete rotation around the sun, around its sun, in a mere 18 hours. So, the, the basic the very big picture implication is that the planet, this planet that we discovered has a very different interior composition. It's mostly made of carbon and carbon-rich compounds, which is contrary to, at least that's our uh, confusion, uh, which is contrary to what we find here on Earth. On Earth, it's mostly in the rocks that are made of silicates, which is silicon and oxides. Now, what this tells us is that when we are looking for planets around other stars, we have to be very open about what their compositions can be. Okay, so that's so that's the first major confusion uh, that we can draw out of this work. Once you go uh, deeper into the planet, uh, which obviously one cannot go, but you can think about what looks uh, what it looks like inside the planet. So outside a thin layer of graphite, there will be about a third of the planet's radius would be uh, mostly a diamond. Now beneath that uh, layer you would see a, another third of the radius, you would see a layer of uh, silicate, uh, silicon-based materials, like either silicon carbide or magnesium silicates and so forth. You find magnesium silicates on Earth, so you could see similar um, minerals on this, in the interior of this planet as well. And below the silicate layer, you'd see uh, most likely an iron core. Well, uh, let me now go across to Amitabh Gosha, who is a scientist, to explain to us the implications of uh, this discovery. Uh, Dr. Ghosh, it's a massive discovery, a planet made of graphite and diamond, but it is also 40 light years away from the Earth. So what really is the significance in your view of this discovery? Uh, it, it is uh, not very surprising. So if you look at the way uh, planets form, the way solar systems form, um, um, it fits in right with the screen. So when a solar system forms, you have a huge cloud of gas which uh, compresses on itself and forms a sun. And uh, what doesn't get incorporated in the sun uh, forms, eventually forms planets. Uh, depending on the distance of, um, uh, distance from the sun and the temperature, various elements condensed. So here you have a specific case where you have more carbon and therefore diamond and graphite. Um, so it is not as surprising that this would happen, but I think it's incredible that we found evidence of such a planet so far away from us. Now it is indeed an incredible discovery, but is 40, it is like I said, uh, 40 light years away and unreachable by man at this point in time. Uh, how do you see this as uh, having any kind of impact on uh, us? Uh, it's a very interesting discovery, um, but it's of course, as you said, unreachable. See, when we talk of, say, yeah, be four topics, uh, is there life in, a, in another planet, in another, another galaxy? The problem is, Human beings do not have the capability to navigate through so such a large distance of interstellar space. So it is not reachable, and that is what makes it so perplexing. But um, nonetheless, it's a very interesting discovery. All right, Dr. Ghosh, thank you very much for joining us.